Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some words of encouragement with you guys. Listen, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Listen, you guys, if you hear me say you're having a wonderful day, I probably forgot what day of the week it is. <laughs> I just want to tell on myself right quick. But nevertheless, I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much. Listen, I love you guys so much. I really do. I know that I say it often, but I mean that. I mean what I say. I'm grateful for you guys allowing the Lord to use you and to, for you to pour into my life as I pour into yours. It is truly a blessing if you guys only knew. If you only truly knew. Talking about God being an on time. God every single time. He has not missed a beat. Amen. Amen. Let me just jump right into this word. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the stripping process and the Lord was giving me this word last night and I think I had written most of it down, if not all of it. Um, hey, it's a process. It's a process. So I'm just going to kind of read. You guys stay with me. All right. I'm so glad you guys are praying for me. I, I appreciate it. So listen, the stripping process. Nobody likes this process. And I understand. I mean, who's going to like that? Nobody likes this process or this part of the Christian walk. But if you are all in, it's part of the process. You're going to go through it, okay? If you are completely sold out for Christ, you have surrendered your life to him. You have given up your will and your way and your plans and your everything, okay? Um, and has given your life completely to Jesus, then you're going to go through this process because some things have to be stripped away. Amen. Um, it's not fun. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. It is not fun, but it is absolutely necessary. So in order to have complete fullness of life in Jesus Christ, there has to be a stripping away of old stuff. It has to happen. It has to happen. We're talking about old mindsets, certain ideologies, okay? And certain traditions, which I talked about before, certain habits, okay? Especially with that, the mindset, that's a big one. Um, just because mama and grandmama did it, it does not mean it is conducive to your Christian walk, okay? Mm, mm -mm. I talked about that before. These things have to go. As I mentioned before, in my family, we had a lot of traditions and we did a lot of habits, a lot of ideologies that blocked me, okay, that blocked us from being um, all that God called us to be, okay, ideology. Ideology is a manner or the content of thinking characteristic, okay, it's a certain thinking characteristic of an individual group or culture, right? A systematic body of concepts, especially about human life and culture. That is a big one. Many if not all of us are proud of the culture or background that we came from, um, we brag about it. Well, most of us, you know, most, most of the, the culture, you know, we like, okay, some we may not. Um, and so, so much so that we brag about it. Now, some things are good and I'm not, I, I'm not, you know, talking about everything was just so bad. I'm not saying that some things were good, but there were some things that were not good, that are not good. Okay. They keep us and kept us from growing in Jesus Christ. Okay. Can you imagine just a couple of things I thought about? Can you imagine with, with a certain thought process, if, if we still thought that women could not be in ministry, I mean, can you imagine that that's one of those thought processes that's just antiquated, okay? They just old. Or or if we still thought that women can't wear pants, you know, you're going to hell if you wear pants. Help us, Jesus. Well, God is helping us, right? Amen. That's just a couple of things I was just thinking about last night. There are other things that we need to be stripped of. We need to be stripped of arrogance, pride, lying, right? Uh, Etc. Sinful nature, period. All right? We need to stop trusting in our money or in our hustle more than in God. Amen. These things have to go. It has to be a stripping away. We had to be stripped of these things, these mindsets, right? That stinking thinking that we had. And it was a lot, so much more. I'm just condensing, okay? I personally lost everything. Matter of fact, a couple times, okay? Um, I lost everything. And and one was my own doing, okay? My own fault. But but God, 
I'm just going to stick that right in there. But God, nothing that we go through, nothing that we do is wasted. Nothing. Oh. Because God is so awesome and amazing like that, okay? I, I had to realize, and I did realize, and I do realize, that my happiness was not in things. Okay? Being in part of a, a in-group, that, that's, that's my happiness. Being popular, that's not happiness. Trying to get validation from people, no, that's not going to get it, okay? It's not in a man for you women and for you men. It's not in a woman. Amen, okay? But I could only find happiness in Jesus Christ. I had to come to that realization. All right? I had to. Um, but um, you know what? And, and two, he had to strip me down in order to make me over. Okay, God had to strip me down in order to make me over. So he allowed things to come in. He allowed me to do some crazy stuff, okay? And then he came through, amen, and said, let's get rid of some more stuff. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Let me make you over, all right? Are you gonna allow God to make you over today? I can't say it's fun. I can't say it feels good. That'll be a lie, I can't tell you that. But I can tell you that it will be worth it. It's a guarantee. It will be worth it. Amen. Amen. So, um, let me see where I was. I hear you guys. Okay. So, so I went through the process um, of of that. I'm still going through it because we're ever changing and we're ever growing and we're ever learning. Okay. And I'm realizing as I'm starting to come out on the other side of many things that it's it's completely worth it. Okay. That it was for my good. All things work together for our good. Okay. Amen. Amen. It wasn't fun, but it was all necessary. Okay. We can always improve. I was reading over the Lord led me over to Jeremiah. I haven't read this in so long. This scripture dropped, he dropped into my spirit and it's Jeremiah chapter 18 verses two through four. And I'm going to read in the new King James version. It says, arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went to the potter's house. I went down to the potter's house and there he was making something at the will. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to keep it together. Hallelujah. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred. Hallelujah. It was damaged in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We know that the marred clay was us, okay? That, that was us, me and you. And we know that Jesus was the potter. God was the potter, okay? Amen. He wants to make us over into another vessel, one that is healthy and whole and fit for the master's use, the master use. Amen, amen. So um, I, I seen an article on Google and I don't do this often. I've done it a few times before. I seen an article and I just want to read a little bit of a, sni a snippet of it. Okay. It says to make pottery, you have to form the clay body into objects of a desired shape. Y'all put your spiritual ears on. Okay. And heating them, um, to high temperatures. And it says from 600 Celsius to 1600 Celsius, which equals 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit to 2,912 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? In a bonfire, pit, or kiln, or kiln. I'm not sure how to answer. Um, say that. It's hot. Super, super hot. Really, really hot. Okay? Had to turn the fire up. Amen. It says, which induces reactions that lead to permanent changes, including increasing strength, and rigidity, that means the inability to bend, to be bent of the object. You guys got to hear that in the spirit, okay? If you need to hear it again, rewind and play it again. We used to say rewind or take it back. I don't know what it's called now. Amen. So hear that in the spirit, okay? You, you see how hot the temperature is? So, so it's uncomfortable, you know? But it's making you into another vessel. Okay, that is strong. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you got your spiritual ears on. You'll never be the same once you encounter Jesus Christ. Amen, hallelujah. Praise the name of God. You'll never be the same. You will never be the same. Nothing is wasted. Let me tell you something, whether it was your fault or not, 
God will not waste a thing. I lost everything. And, and sister girl was out there wiling out for, for a moment. Okay, don't judge me. You were too. Amen. Amen. Okay. But God saw fit because of his mercy. Because of his mercy and his grace, he saw fit that I would still be here today. Y'all, I'm going to run in this room. Hallelujah. God is a good God. So listen, go through the process of being stripped. Oh, see. oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Woo. Go through the process of being stripped. Everything that happens in this process, it is for your good and my good. Go through the process, okay, of being stripped. Just go through it. All right. Amen. Amen. It's worth it all. Y'all, that's the word that was burning down inside of me. As you can see, I'll be ready to go trying to cut it short. Listen, listen, listen. I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying that your strength fail you not and whatever you are waiting for or enduring or going through. I am praying your strength in God that it will be that you are solid. OK, standing on the solid rock, which is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to make it. All right. You're going to make it. Everything's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. I said everything is going to be all right. Jesus got you. He knows you. He made you. All right. I used to say, then I'm going to get off of here. I say, Father, you know, because I, I, I had messed up or made a mistake. I said, Father, remember, I'm just the dirt of the ground. I'm, I'm trying to plead my case. But God knows that. The Bible says he knows our frame. All right. I was trying to go in. I'm just dirt, really, you know. Help. I mean, mercy, mercy. But God is a good God. He is merciful. I love him so much. Listen, that is it. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to try to relax and, and just enjoy this, this time that I have. Um, thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you that God bless you abundantly and overflowing. Okay. In the name of Jesus. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just not coming back, let me tell you something. It's all right. I'm glad you're back. All right. All heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, the only true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rest upon you and your family. Y'all be blessed. Listen, go through the process of stripping. All right. It's worth it in the end. Jesus got you. All right. I love you. But guess what? Jesus loves you so much more. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Talk to you soon.